previously on Dying Soul. What kind of sickness? At least it must have a name. I am cancelable. But Myra... Hello, baby girl. How was your date? Did you get to kiss? I wish the old thing ended up in tragedy. Wait a minute. Are you crying? What's going on? What happened? The nips hit him. Yet he was even silent for some few seconds. Oh my. I'm so sorry. I guess it didn't take it well. I never gave him a chance to react. You could have waited to hear what he had to say. I never wanted him to look at me with pity. You know I hate being pitied. I'm so sorry. I, I, I can come over if you want me to. No. I'll be fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Just take care of yourself and don't cry, please. Okay? <sighs> Thanks for your efforts thus far. Good night. It's okay, that's fine. I'm glad you called. I'll be with you in the next 30 45 minutes. Okay? Just hold on. Bye. Sometimes I feel like I was born to be hurt Sometimes I feel like I wasn't made for this world Sometimes life is hard feels There's no one for you to call My heart feels heavy It's about to fall And draw more this time Cause I'm a dying soul Lightless soul I'm a hopeless soul Lightless soul I'm a crying soul Dying soul Dying soul Shadows are Falling, I'm running out of red. Gets me burning beneath the stains of time. My life is getting faster, slowly, slowly. Yeah. 
Now that I'm dying, finally get to meet the most lovable man on earth. I now see you think the universe is no more giving. It's just life, okay? It happens sometimes. Essay. You will get your happy ending. It might not be how you want it, or exactly how you might want it. But it is definitely going to come because you deserve it. Let me say I believe you. But then, when I... <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my god! Is this blood? How long has this been going on? Before I knew I had cancer. What? That was the reason why I went for the test in the first place. And this will be a current. For the few weeks now. And you didn't think to tell me. I'm sorry. I never wanted to bother you. Really? Really? It is not a bother. I mean, I'm sorry. I stop getting angry. I never got you over to get mad at me. It's fine. Just stop keeping things away from me. What else is going on? The nightmare hmm? has gotten worse. You know what? Anytime I have conversation with Femi mm -hmm. or see him, I do have the nightmare like two times, two times in a week, opposed to the way it was before, one time in a month or two. This is strange. And uncomfortable too. Honestly, if you ask me, I'd say you should see a psychotherapist. For all you know, this could be as a result of a traumatic experience. Oh, is that my best wish, Abi? Essay, I beg. What do you want me to say? Besides, the only trauma experience I had was the rape. And I can remember 
You did not finish the therapy session for that one. That was because I'm fine already. That is what you tell yourself. You are just too stubborn. Do you want me to call you a doctor? Do you? Are you sure you'll be okay? Shut up! Quick, give me your voice! Give me your voice! Give me your voice! Give me your voice! What's going on here? Fight your friend! What are you doing? What are you doing? Calm down, calm down. 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 Okay, please make sure that the patients are okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Femi, you are scaring me. What is going on? Wale, I asked you every time. I asked you. Why didn't you tell me? Femi, that's it. That's it. I can't take it anymore. What's happening, my man? What the hell is the problem? You've been in the office ever since. What keeps you up? Tell me what is happening. No, please tell me what is going on. What is going on? I'm talking about Essie. Which Essie? Which Essie are you talking about? How many Essie do you and I don't know? How many Essie? You have any questions? How many Essie do you have? I don't know. Are you talking about my patients? Essie, my patients? But what are these going to do with her? Well, I found that she's sick. And you tell me, why do you do that? Femi, Femi, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm really, really, very, very sorry. You know, matters like this are confidential. I don't have the right to tell you about stuff like that. I can't. What you should have told me. You know how much I love this girl. You know how much I like her. You know I do. I know, but I'm just doing my job as a doctor. I'm just doing my job, job man. So, what's the way forward? What's the treatment process? I'm, I love what she has. Okay, well, still at the early stage. The procedure is a continuous process. She has two years to live or less. Please, I need detailed explanation. I don't understand what you're saying. Femi, you know I can't do that. I can't. I Wally, can't. Wally, please. Please. Just please. Just tell me everything. I beg you. Please. I beg you in God's name. Please. Please. Okay. Please have your sex. Femi, what SE has is what we call acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And this is usually common to kids. But 15 to 20 percent of adults do undergo this illness. And so persons are lucky to live up to five years. And some persons live less than five years. I'm sorry, man. What was the treatment process like? The treatment has two phases. The first phase is a remission induction therapy. And the goal is to kill any leukemia cells found in the blood and in the bone marrow. This puts the leukemia into remission. The second phase of treatment is the post-remission therapy. This begins immediately the leukemia is in remission. And the goal is to kill any leukemia cells that may not be active, but can later regrow to cause a relapse. In other words, this is also called remission continuation therapy. You see, man? Wait, 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 wait
get it straight. Are you saying after all this treatment should be fine? Femi, it's not that easy, man. It's not. It's not. These two phases that I just told you about, it, it, it involves four other treatments. We have chemotherapy. Now, this is a cancer treatment. This is whereby cancer drugs or injection, when taken or being given to, it goes straight into the body to kill the cancerous cells in the body. Now, we have the radiation therapy. This is when a high X ray energy is being exposed to the body to kill the cancerous okay, cells. Okay, it's okay. David, to save all the big shoes. So, what stage is as a treatment right now? Man, presently, she's undergoing chemotherapy. But lately, it seems the treatment is not effective anymore. And she has been experiencing some symptoms and effects lately for the, for the past few weeks. Well, what can I do to help? I'm afraid, man. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing. All she needs from you right now and all what you can offer right now is your support. She needs your support and she needs your love and she needs your care. That's what she needs. You need to love her and cherish her. That's the only way you can actually help her. I'm sorry, man. I'm really, really very, very sorry. Sorry, what's your name? Who are you here to see? Um, I'm Femi. Tell your boss I'm around. Oh, sorry, my boss is in disgust right now. Are you? Are you? Are you okay? Tell your boss I'm around. I said I'm Femi. Tell your boss I'm around. I heard your name, Mr. Femi. I said my boss is in disgust. Come on, come on, keep, 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 keep quiet there. Tell, tell your boss I'm around. Tell your boss. Stop shouting, my boss. I can shout. I can do what I like. Yeah. Tell your boss I'm around. What's the meaning of this? Me, tell me your boss is in disgust. Ma, that's one Mr. Femi. He's, he's here to see you. I told him you are indisposed for now, but he wouldn't listen. Okay, please let him in. You can go in. Let's see. Poor thing. You should not act. I've been no disposed. And it's never fault. It is. I see. Essie, what's the meaning of this? Why are you avoiding me? What huh? are you doing here? How can you ask me that? You dropped the bulb show on me and you zoomed off. You don't take my calls. Nor do you reply them. I sent you message online and you deliberately ignore them. Essie, why? Huh? Why? She should not have been here. Essie, listen to me. Just let me in. I want to walk through this tough moment with you. Just let me in, please. I'm not selfish. It's my cost to bear. I don't want you getting involved. I don't need your pity. Pity? Why on earth would I want to pity a woman so strong as you? Listen, listen to me. I care so much about you. Don't push me away, please. Come on. Femi, I'm sorry. Femi, you are a great guy. If things were to be different, I would have let you in with my arms wide open. But this is a trying period for me. I have a lot to put in place. Before I die, Femi, I'm sorry. I can afford to be distracted. Listen to me, listen to me. Just let me know that I'm going to be watching this distraction. Please. Come on.
you get the drugs from the pharmacy? Yeah, I did. She has taken a half million of it already. Wally, why is her hair pulling off? That's what happens when you have cancer. That is the chemotherapy results to loss of hair. Don't worry, we'll be fine, okay? Thanks. Ensi, you really need to slow down to work from the office. Yeah, me. I have so much to do there, please. And staying at home doing nothing. It's what I can't afford to do. But you have a mina at the company. You could work from home. That's a good suggestion. So you uh, he's actually right. And this will help with your health. No, but thanks, Deborah. I'm not an invalid. yet. And I won't leave as one. It's okay. Boss lady. Thank you. You're just stubborn. Okay, guys, uh, please. We need to let the patient rest now, so please. Let's go out. Okay? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I was born to be hurt. Sometimes I feel like I wasn't made for this world. Sometimes life is hard. This doesn't no one for you. Where is my car? My heart is um, it's still at the office. Why didn't you bring it? That's because Femi is driving us home. Yeah, I. Off back to take you guys home so as to reduce the stress on Amina. Okay, thanks. But I love making use of my car. Oh, come on. You know what they say about change being constant. Huh? I'll take the bags. No, 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 don't worry. Let me, let me take it. My car is over there. Don't bring it, bring it. Yeah, okay. yeah over, this way, this way. Come on. Such a gentleman. That's such a time. <laughs> my heart feels heavy. It's about to fall All these tears and pain in my heart All these griefs and sadness inside Made me want to cry cause I'm dying inside Guess what stop myself and draw more things time Cause I'm a dying so Thanks, Thanks. Femi. I know you care about me as much as I care about you. And that's enough reason for me not to lead you on. Lead me on as in, as in how? Femi. Right now, does not give rules for romance or relationship. I just want to plan my life and put this in place before I die. How can you talk about that with so much strength and deprived yourself of living? Huh? I don't understand. I'm living my life the way it best suits me. At the situation I currently find myself, Femi, we can't be friends. Not even as friends? No, not even as friends. Essie, what are you afraid of? What are you scared of? Let me just go home. Why are you so selfish? You only think about yourself and no one else. Why? I'm just trying to protect you from all the emotional trauma. You're protecting yourself and not me. Have you ever wondered why you don't have any friends or people truly care about you? Because you keep pushing people away. You don't want them to see how weak you are. You are weak! I'm not weak! And I don't need the whole world around me to prove that! Besides, they are just there because of my money! I have Amina! And she's enough for me! Huh. Amina? Amina? The ones that you treat, treat like your personal maid? The ones that you treat like your servant? 
One minute she's your friend, the other she's your sister, and the next minute she's your mate. Do you even know what friendship is all about? Do you? I believe the only reason Amina still is still sticking around because she loves you unconditionally. I believe you can, you can do the same for her. You can't. You think you know us? Do you think you know us so well? No, you don't know us. You don't know all that we've been through. I mean, he's just that one person that loves me genuinely. And I will never, ever take our friendship for granted. Then treat her right. Treat her like a sister and not your personal servant or a mate. Yes. Oh, oh, Essie, you think you're the only one that's dealing with shit? We all have our shit we're dealing with. But we still make our time to treat others right. Treat people right and accept genuine love and friendship when you see them, irrespective of our past. That's a sign of our strength, and what you're doing now is a sign of weakness. Come on, grow up. You don't know me. You don't know my story. So how dare you judge me? You're not the one with hard spirits. You are not the one with the burden of a trauma or rape. You're not the one who can separate his nightmare from reality. Neither are you the one who is going to die soon. So don't you ever dare judge me. Don't you ever judge me. You see, I see. I know you're going through a difficult phase in your life. I understand that. But we all have our shade too. Yes! You think you have problems?